Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about magnification and everything you need to know about it. So, so why do we care about magnification? Why is it relevant? Okay, so when we talk about biology, right, we're typically talking about things that are extremely small, right, that we can't actually see. And so in order to see them, what we're going to do is we're going to use typically microscopes. Um, so let's draw out what a microscope looks like, right? So a microscope. And that's going to make that image bigger, right? So that we can actually see the cell, right? So why is this relevant? Well, essentially, we have to be able to communicate how big our image is compared to the actual size of, of the thing that we're talking about, right? So it's just important for, for being precise so that when we send pictures across different nations and countries and whatever, we have a way of communicating, okay, well, we're talking about something that is actually only this big. Okay, so magnification is a way to describe what the actual size is relative to the image. So how do you calculate magnification and how can you use it in, in IB biology? So you have to be able to, to perform different types of calculations um, related to the actual size of structures and the, the observed sizes. Okay, so here is the, the formula or the formula triangle that you're going to use to calculate between the two. Essentially, if you have something that has an actual size, right, and you are going to be observing these on the image size, right, so the, or also known as the observed size, let's write that out, observed size, the actual size multiplied by a certain value known as the magnification is going to result, magnification, is going to result in the image or in the observed size, right? As so you can remember this triangle, the I over the M times A, okay? So if you want to get the, the image size, you need to multiply the magnification by the actual size. If you want the magnification, you need to take the image and divide that by the actual size, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. You'll probably be able to remember that. The only tricky thing is that you have to, have to, have to make sure that when you're doing these calculations, you are working in the same units, okay? So if your actual size of, let's say, a cell is written in micrometers and your image is in centimeters, you are not going to be able to uh, do accurate calculations, right? Because one micrometer, right? and one centimeter, right? What's the magnification? Well, it's definitely not just gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio, right? Instead, you have to remember this table over here, essentially, where you have to remember that, uh, that one micrometer is one thousandth of a millimeter. So there are a thousand, there are a thousand micrometers per millimeter. And you have to know that there are 10 millimeters per centimeter. Okay, so you know that micrometer to centimeter is actually going to be, there's going to be 10,000 micrometers, right? So if you have this as an image size and this is an actual size, your magnification, since this is 10 thousandth of the centimeter, is going to be 1 times 10,000, right? Okay, so just remember this table over here and you should be just fine. But let's go through an example. So if it says that the magnification of this microscope is times 100, what is the actual size of this image? By the way, I don't actually know if this is the, the, the actual magnification, but let's just go through how you would do this. So imagine that I'm physically sitting, this is on a piece of paper. I am physically going to take out a ruler, okay? And I'm going to place it on this piece of paper and then I'm gonna see, well, how far is it from here to here? Now, let's just say that, that is five centimeters across. Okay, so you actually need to take out your ruler when you're doing this. Okay, so we're going to remember our formula I over M A, right? So what do we have here? Well, we have our image size, right? Because we know that that's five centimeters. We just measured that and we know that our magnification is 100. So we all we need to do is then say, okay, well, five centimeters divided by one hundred, right? That's the same as one over 20 was the same as 0 0.05, right? So that means that the actual size of this image is 0 0.05 centimeters. Okay, it's important that it's centimeters. So if I wanted to, and I wanted to convert this into, let's say, millimeters, right? Then I know, okay, well, there's 10 millimeters for every centimeter, right? Which means that this is going to be only 0.5 millimeters, right? Because that if it was 0.5 centimeters, 
that would be half, so that would be five. And since it's even less than that, it's going to be 0.5 millimeters. Okay, so if you don't quite get how that worked and just remember the table from above. Okay, so all you're doing is just taking the two values that you are given and then working out the last one. Okay, so I hope that 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 made sense there. And um, this is another example you might get. So sometimes you're going to get given uh, a scale bar. And then you're asked to calculate the magnification. So let's say that this is the scale bar here. And what it's telling you is that this scale bar is 90 micrometers long. So that's the actual size of the scale bar. And then all you have to do is measure, okay, well, how long is this scale bar actually? Okay, well, I'm going to take out my ruler, da -de -da -de -da, and then let's say that it's nine centimeters long for, for using a, a physical ruler. Okay, so let's remember our formula. I M A, right? So what do we have here? Well, we have our actual size because we know that's 90 micrometers and we have our, our observed size or image size, right? So that's going to be nine centimeters. So nine centimeters and here we have 90 micrometers. Now, remember, we have to always have the exact same units when we're doing these calculations. And so we have to convert centimeters into micrometers. So we said before that one centimeter is equal to 10,000 micrometers, right? And therefore, nine centimeters is actually 90,000 micrometers. So therefore, when we do this calculation, let's go like here, right, we need to divide the image size over the actual size. And what, what are we going to get? Well, we're going to get these two cancel out and that becomes one one, this cancels out, right? So the magnification that we're left with is times 1000. Okay, so that is the magnification of this image. You all you have to do is remember this formula. And then remember that you always have to convert these into the into the same units. Okay, so you should be fine if you remember all of that. So the key point is that magnification is a crucial value when we're talking about uh, about um, uh, cells and biology as a whole. Remember that triangle I over MA, and then always remember to have the same units when you're doing any calculations. So good luck, guys.